What's up guys, welcome to Protect and Survive today. I wanted to talk about matches, okay? In the world of bushcraft, people were like, you use matches to start a fire? I thought you had to use a fail rod or feather sticks or friction or flitting. Guys, it's great and dandy and all, but at the end of the day, if you have a lighter or matches, you can start a fire. <laughs> right? It doesn't always have to be the lighter or the ferro rod or the friction or the bow drill. Those are great skills to have and to understand and utilize. But at the end of the day, if you have matches, use them. Okay? These come with about 32. And if done properly, all you need is one. Just build like a windshield. Uh, something to protect the wind from blowing your match out. You don't want to light your match up here and then go down into your fire. Your match is going to burn out, right? What you want to do is you want to light it next to your um, uh, something that's going to combust, right? To the wood, the, whatever you're using to ignite that fire, you want to light it and put it right next to it or light it kind of like right under it. You don't want to light it from up here, guys, and then go down. I don't know about some of these people, but <laughs> listen, there's nothing wrong with using matches or lighter or one of those extended barbecue lighters, okay? At the end of the day, survival is survival. Surviving is surviving. All right, just wanted to give you a little um, quick tip and iteration on this. Hope you guys are safe out there. Welcome to Protect and Survive. Catch you on the next one. Hey guys, welcome to Protect and Survive. Damn, this light sucks.